morning, everyone. I wanted to take a second to talk about the Soaring Spirits brand makeover. You might remember we won. It was fantastic. Um, from PM and company, we won a $35,000 brand makeover. And we talked a lot about it in December, and maybe you haven't heard much about it since then, so I thought I'd give you all an update. Um, it's going to be fantastic, first of all. Secondly, what is a brand makeover? Um, we're going to be streamlining our logo. Um, there'll be a look and feel that's consistent across all of the Soaring Spirits program sites. Maybe you notice that some of them don't look like the others. Um, and that's really just a function of having added programs as we've gone along through our seven years and um, kind of responded in the moment instead of doing some strategic planning, which, uh, as I'm learning, is always um, kind of expected for new and growing nonprofits. And then you come to a place where it's time to sort of get it all together. So that's the goal for this year. We want to get it all together. Um, we want to have a unified message across all of our sites. That's going to include the Soaring Spirits home site, the Camp Widow site, the Widowed Village site. Um, you'll see the new logo on everything, um, all marketing materials, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. I don't have it yet, but I do have it's in process. And so um, when will all of this launch? Our anniversary is May 27th. We are going to be seven years old, which is an incredible uh, and sort of still stunning to me fact. Um, but anyways, on May 27th, we're going to be rolling out the brand makeover. Everything on May 27th, when you wake up in the morning, is going to be new. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you think of all of it. Um, I was at the gym this morning and I was thinking about just kind of the process we're undergoing right now. And realizing once again that Soaring Spirit's mission is to connect widowed people with each other. That's what we do. Um, we also connect you with resources. We connect you with um, interesting and useful books and speakers and um, really we try to just give you as many tools as possible so that you have the ability to recreate a meaningful, happy life um, after living through the experience of losing the person you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. Um, and so when I was thinking through that, I was imagining, you know, there's 900,000 widowed people in the U.S. alone each and every year. Soaring Spirits programs are serving a worldwide population, so um, I don't even have a real number for how many widowed people that is. Um, but, of course, the potential is outstanding, um, you know, and overwhelming, sort of. And so... Um, I was sort of imagining like the idea of the connection and what that looks like. It looks like a connected widowed community, um, huge connected widowed community. And then I had like the thought, um, who wants a huge connected widowed community? And then I thought, widowed people do. And so um, despite the fact that people often ask me like kind of, you know, what would be the purpose of that? Um, I... I know, and I know that my widowed community knows that the purpose of that is providing hope, help, and companions um, through every step of your journey from the time that you first learn that you're widowed all the way through and past when um, life has become more beautiful than you ever imagined. Um, it doesn't mean we stop missing the person who was a part of our life. And so I call that the arc of the widowed experience. It starts from the very beginning and it continues to the end of your life. And so um, eventually what we become is hope personified for the people who come after us. And I so look forward to sharing all of you um, and the hope that you personify with the widowed people who will come after us. So stay tuned. There's lots more to come and I'm looking so forward to sharing it with all of you. Have a great day. Bye.